What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and it is the morning after WWE Live at the O2 Arena in London. Now it has only just occurred to me whilst trying to edit that I never actually did an intro for this video. So today guys, what you will be seeing is me interviewing WWE fans outside WWE Live at the O2 Arena in London. This is interesting. There were some unexpected answers. There were some unexpected things that happened, as well as interviews with people that I did not expect to get. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so I'm here with Donald. Uh, I've, I've told him already this, this mic doesn't work, but hey-ho, we're going to use it anyway. Uh, Donald, I've got some questions for you, all right, buddy? So, who are you most excited to see tonight and why? Bianca Belair. Yeah. Okay, why is that then? I've been a massive Massive supporter since the NXT days, you hear that guys. All right, so who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, good pick. Right. And Jimmy Amber Nightheart. Jimmy okay, the Hart Foundation together as a tag team, yeah? Who is your favorite wrestling YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Donald, <laughs> you hear that? Yes, come on, Donald. Um, and, and Kip Blitz, yeah. of course, there you are, Kip. This question, nice and simple. WWE? or AEW? Uh, if you had to pick one. I'm gonna have to pick WWE. WWE, okay. Okay, I, I, can, I can appreciate but that. I love yeah? I'd say the same, so you know. And final question. Can you give me your best Undertaker impression? Can you do the eye roll? Do it, show the camera. <laughs> there you go, there you go, right, Donald, thanks very much. Well, we've got some more people here at the O2 Arena, I'm going to ask them some more questions. Gentlemen, firstly, what are your names? Uh, Andy, and, Jay. And Jay, nice to meet you boys. Right, firstly, who are you most excited to see tonight and why? Uh, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Um, yeah. Do I need to explain? Not really, it's <laughs> a man, isn't it? Right, what about you, buddy? Finn, because it's massively underused in WWE. Okay, that's, that's, I can't argue with that, can I? It's, it's accurate. Who is your favourite wrestler of all time? Uh, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, good answer. Michaels or Jeff Hardy? Great answers here, guys. These guys know their stuff. What is your favourite WWE pay-per-view of all time? Tricky I mean, question. It's got to be WrestleMania 17. WrestleMania 17, another great answer. Are you the same or? Yeah, it's going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. In your opinion, what is your favourite and best looking design of the WWE Championship of all time? Is it the Big Eagle? Oh, yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it's, pulse. Yeah. it's, pulse. it's got Winged Eagle. Yes. Yeah, winged day. Eagle. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Big Eagle and we got the Winged Eagle. Yeah? All it's good. Easy. Can't argue with that one. Nice and simple one here, folks. Ready? Yeah, WWE or AEW? That's cruel. We're at a WWE. <laughs> AEW can't miss one. What's Jericho's there? There you go, favourite wrestler as well. You the same? Yeah, AEW. All Not the league, baby. Jericho, though. <laughs> Adam Cole, Omega, the Elite, it's still the true. Bastard. It's still criminal that you're not finishing Adam Cole. CM Punk, Punk. Yeah. Yeah. everyone else. They've yeah, got everyone you... that we want. Absolutely. Where WWE is hit and miss, and what I mean is everything's a miss except for Reigns. AEW yeah. <laughs> is Is he wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Can you give me your best Stone Cold Steve Austin impression? What? Um, what? <laughs> there you go. I mean, do you want to do you want to go further or is? No. No. Uh, best I can do. Is what? What? There you go. What? What? Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Something I did not expect to see here tonight. Former JTW World Heavyweight Champion, my arch rival, Ben. Cage, how are you? I like to think we've moved on from our backyard days, yeah, both of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I knew you'd be around here somewhere, and I was potentially going to wait and maybe, you know, but... Me, me. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, I've got some general questions here. Same as everyone. Ben, yeah. who are you most excited to see tonight and why? Uh, Bianca Belair. Right. Uh, I, I think she's just so unique and so talented, man. Absolutely. And, you know, the rise of the women's kind of division... I think she's so athletic and she just brings something new to, to wrestling and oh yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to see her life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well next up, who is your favourite wrestler of all time? Shawn Michaels maybe, uh, Edge, there. I love Edge. Yes. So you've got to take all three, you know, the 
the ability, the look, and the, the charisma, you know, the, the ability to talk. All Jericho important. would be up there as well. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll go Shawn Michaels. Okay. okay. It's a bit of a cop out on to Cargo. <laughs> the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Next up, what is your favourite WWE pay per view of all time? See, the, the, the one that holds a special place in my heart, just because when I was a kid it was like, is uh, Bad Blood 97. Right. The introduction of Kane. Yeah. Sean Michaels and, and Taker in the, in, cell. in the cell. Kane came, he ripped the door off the cell. I just remember just being blown away. Yeah. It was one of the first memories I have of wrestling. So that holds a special place in my heart, so I'll go with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Great show, great show. Um, next up, who is your favourite wrestling YouTuber slash channel? Oh. I don't really have that many at the moment. I'll, I'll go with yours. Man. Yes, <laughs> again, that's Joe, two Joe people. Talks. So just because I, you know, I feel like I've been a part of it as well, so you know. Absolutely. Um, WWE or AEW? I mean, at the moment, I'd, I'd say AEW just because they've got the talent they've got. I, I love uh, Malachi Black. Oh, big Malachi they're pick, fan. They're picking up like so much talent and they're using them really well. Yeah. Um, and it's new and it's fresh and it's interesting. So yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, AEW at the moment. Yep. Yeah. And finally, can you give me your best Mr. McMahon impression? Oh, we don't need the, we don't need the mic. There we go, right, We've got another interview here. Uh, what's your name, buddy? Callum. It's Callum. Right, now, Callum, who are you most excited to see here tonight and why? Probably Bianca Belair. Again? I'd say. Okay, Bianca <laughs> Belair. A lot of people saying Bianca Belair. I mean, the whole squash was very upsetting to me, so I'm hoping to see some some kind of redemption in form yeah. of a promo or something like that. So yeah, absolutely. We'll okay, Bianca again. Who is your favourite wrestler of all time? Samoa Joe or AJ Styles. Okay, okay, you need picks. We haven't had a Samoa Joe or an AJ Styles okay. yet. So, you know, in your opinion, what is the best looking championship of all time? Um, maybe the, the rated R spinner. The rated R spinner? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting it, that it's, one. It's a bit, it's a bit dorky, but I liked it. Yeah, so, yeah it's a bit, you know, bit of a spinner. I'm a fan of the pun intended. <laughs> oh, see, see that spinner puns, guys. WWE or AEW? AEW. Yeah, all the way? All the way. All the yeah. way. All elite wrestling. So okay. Funny. Now, finally, Callum, can you give me your best The Rock impression? Can I do a people's eyebrow? You can do a people's eyebrow. <laughs> There you go. Oh, well, okay. That's all I got, dude. Okay, no worries at all. Right? Thank you very much, Callum. I appreciate it. I'm standing here once again outside the O2 Arena. We've got another interview. Can you tell me your name, buddy? Charlie. Charlie, nice to meet you. Who are you most excited to see tonight and why? Um, probably Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Okay, most people have said Bianca Belair. So, you know, it's nice to see Drew McIntyre come up. Why is that? Because uh, he's repping the UK, you know. Like, Absolutely. Uh, he, he's carried his, uh, the, the company on his shoulders for quite a long time. Yeah, right? the pandemic. Pandemic. yeah so, absolutely. In your opinion, what is the best looking championship of all time? I actually like the current WWE championship. Yeah? yeah. The current one, the network logo. Yeah, I, I just, as soon as that came out, yeah. it's quite old now though, isn't it? 2014. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, I like that one too. Next up, right? WWE or AEW? Everyone seems to get annoyed when I ask this question because they can't oh, pick. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I, I love both. Um, I've got to stick with WWE. Yeah, loyalist. Since I was young, I've always been into WWE. Yeah. There's never been any company that has come close to. Uh, I feel exactly the same way. I feel exactly the same way. Okay, now finally, can you give me your best Matt Riddle impression? Bro, there we go, right? Thank you, Charlie. Another interview right here with a WWE fan. Firstly, what is your name? Hassan. Hassan, nice to meet you, buddy. Who is your favourite wrestler of all time? Triple H. Triple H. Not a bad pick right there. Not a bad pick at all. You cannot argue with the game. Uh, who is your favourite wrestling YouTuber or YouTube channel? Okay, well, that is Chris Denko. Chris Denko, Denko. I'll pop down down counts. Yeah, exactly. You will pop down down. Both. Okay, mm -hmm. you're more into like the gaming side of things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. I never thought that would happen in one of my videos, but I'm definitely gonna have to censor that. <laughs> well, he got he got us good. He got us good. Next up, WWE or AEW? To be honest, I'm both. But... Hmm. You had to pick one. Like, one goes out of business tomorrow, which one do you want it to be? If 
if one goes out of business, so we'll be, I'm in and out. Okay. So if it's AEW, it's AEW. Okay, that, that's fair enough. So I'm standing here outside the O2, the show is finished, my voice is gone, and uh, I bump into former arch nemesis, Kip Flips. Oh, so and the baby! Baby! There you go, you see wrestling fans are crazy, you know, we're crazy. Anyway, Kip's agreed to do some more questions, you know, as part of the interview video. So Kip, who were you most excited to see? I mean, the show's over now, but who was it? To be honest, nobody. What? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well. I was more excited to meet people that wanted to come and see me. There was a lot of... Uh, younger fans that wanted to come and say hello to me so that meant a lot to me and that's probably the highlight of my day of my night absolutely i agree you know i never expected people to come over and ask for photos but you know we ha i've had two people come over and get photos with me which is crazy and kip i'm sure you've had a lot more than that How, uh, maybe about few? about 10 or so wow so, so big numbers right here. right next question who is your favorite wrestler of all time i already know this but of all time of all time Bret Hart. Oh, okay. No, I didn't know. I thought you were going to say AJ Styles. No, all time is Bret Hart. I grew up with Bret Hart, so, you know, he's, he's, he's in my heart. That's Hart is enough. in my heart. What is your favourite WWE pay-per-view of all time? The Royal Rumble 2000. Oh, okay. Is that the one with Triple H and Mankind? Triple H and Cactus Jack. That's the one, yeah. Yes. Cactus Jack. Street, street fight. Uh, had Jeff Hardy and the Devilies. Had The Rock winning. Sorry for all the spoilers, even though it's like 21 years ago. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a great show overall. Awesome show. In your opinion, what is the best looking wrestling championship of all time? The WWF Winged Eagle. Yes. Around. I can get behind that. 90, what was it, 98, 97? Around that time, yeah. yeah. Austin retired it after maybe 14, I believe. Yeah. Okay, next one, nice and simple. I think I know what you're going to say. WWE or AEW? It's an Adam Cole baby shirt. I am AEW. I am all elite. Oh. Why am I even here? I'm at the wrong show. AEW, Tony Khan. Get your ass over here. That's the thing. Now, finally, Kip, can you give me your best The Rock impression? If you smell loud, what The Rock is cooking. The Rock, thank you for that. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Kip Flip, so much for being in the video. And there you go. That was the Standing interview. Standing here with Simon Miller 316, the one person I did not expect to see. The wow. one person you didn't expect to I see did a wrestling not event. To see a wrestling Why would I not be here? I don't know. I, I, just, I just really didn't think. But I got it up those downs. What did you think of the show? I thought it was really good. I thought it was really, really good. Like the first show I've been to in like what a year and a half. Yeah. And I think, given there was a house show, they put a lot of effort into the production. I thought the crowd was good. The best thing I like about these shows is you see how kid are react uh, kids are reacting to exactly. characters. It makes you go, oh yeah. right, I get why they do it. Like it does make me feel like a kid Absolutely. again. I thought great atmosphere, really good show. What did you think? I thought it was brilliant. Um, I was a bit disappointed in the end because not because of the wrestlers because of the fans i thought it was disrespectful that everyone started to leave it's just i, I agree with you 100 percent. unfortunately it's just the nature of the beast what it is, people it? just want to get home it, i didn't get it i've never left early in my life however i do understand but i do agree with you i think it's Absolutely. a little bit disrespectful well simon thank you very much for being in my video thank you i appreciate it, I appreciate it. cheers thank you with adam from what culture one of the Adams. One of, one of many Adams. The best. How many Joes are on Joe Talks Wrestling? Only one. Only one. one. The only Joe from I am the only Joe from Joe Talks But I'm here with the best Adam from what culture? Absolutely. Don't, don't tell him I said that. Don't tell Will when I said that, okay? But anyway, Adam, what did you think of WWE Live? Honestly, it was just so nice to be back in a show like that. And I will say, for a, like, I've been to many house shows, many live shows, they phone it in, it's very small scale. That genuinely yeah. was way above what you normally expect. Well, it was, a, it was a TV taping initially, wasn't it? But they well, had yeah, to they reschedule that originally. Like, but just even like what they let the talent do in the ring, like the way they set yeah. up the show, like the time they gave them. Yeah. Becky Lynch and uh, Bianca Belair came on yeah. at 9.52. Right. Miller goes to me, they give me these eight minutes and it's a roller. And not that they got like nearly 20 minutes, yeah. they had a really good night. Like, oh, it was a full scale match. Thought, genuinely, I was really impressed with that. Absolutely. It, was time. it was really good. But nice. even if even if it had been crap, yeah. it was just nice to be back. Exactly, and feel the atmosphere again. That was feel it, back yeah. in it after obviously the pandemic and everything. We can't do it. But no, it's, it's good to be back. <laughs> nice to be back in a room full of people sharing an experience, which sounds, it sounds like so yeah, it's cliche, true. but it's true. it is. When was the last time we did that? Ages ago. Yes, yes. Years ago. But no, thank you very much for being in the video, Adam. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. There we go. That was me interviewing uh, WWE fans at WWE Live at the O2 in London. 
it's been great. You know, the show was great. It's like the show, as you guys can probably tell. I've lost my voice, but let me know what you feel about it in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys will be awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.